do have a gun in the car, so. Okay. I'm, I'm, Hold on. Where at? Just leave it in there, okay? No, don't. Don't reach for that. Oh, I would never. This is your health insurance. Hey, don't open that. Don't open that. I already told you. You already told me there's a gun in there, so don't open that. Dude, I'm. Dude, call a supervisor. Okay. What do you do for work? I own, a, I own half the money that's in there. What did they tell you was wrong with your eye? It was a, something that was, it was like a stagnus. Okay. Uh Sorry. I can't fucking wait for this. How long have you been a police officer, sir? I recognize you from downtown. You're downtown a lot, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. My guy is taking care of me. Who, Nijay? Yeah, this is just wrong. Okay. Hey, babe. Are you sorry? Oh, I don't have my phone. No. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, I'm going to have you arrested. My promise. Okay. On my life. Okay. This little bag. Is it right? Yes, sir. Woo! I was a cop for four years. I don't know you. Where were you a cop at? I'm just telling you. June 14th, yes. Yeah. Anytime you're ready. I am Officer Rodriguez of the Orlando Police Department. Today's date is June 14th, 2020, and the time is 2049 hours. Please state your full name. Steve, I'm now requesting that you submit to an approved test of your breath for the purpose of determining the alcoholic content of your breath. If you refuse to take this test, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for your first refusal or 15 months of your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusing to submit to a lawful test. Additionally, if you refuse to take this test and your privilege and your driving privilege has been previously suspended for a prior refusal, you will be committing a misdemeanor. Your refusal to submit to this test is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Will you take the test? Do you read the whole time? The whole thing? Yes. Okay. I am now requesting that you submit to an improved test of your breath for the purpose of determining the alcoholic content of your breath. If you refuse to take this test, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for your first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended for refusing to submit to a lawful test. Additionally, if you refuse to take this test and your driving privilege has been previously suspended for a prior refusal, you will be committing a misdemeanor. Your refusal to take this test is admissible into evidence in any criminal proceeding. Will you take the test? But who wrote that? <laughs> She can tell me who wrote that. Who has no idea? No, but who wrote that? I don't know. No, but tell me who wrote that. I don't know who wrote that. How do you read something you don't know who wrote it? The scripture. No, I mean, no, 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 no offense. But I can't agree to something that you can't tell me who wrote it. Okay, are you refusing to take the test? I didn't say that. I said who wrote that. I don't know. That's wrong. How could you feed something to somebody that you don't know who wrote it? It's implied consent. Written. It's not implied consent. I, I gotta stop for a second. No worries, sir. Sir, I need to know who wrote that, that she just wrote me. Right now. It's not gonna happen, sir. Well, now I'm not taking it. anything I'm taking. If she doesn't. Are you refusing, sir? No, sir. Okay. I don't refuse anything. But if she doesn't know who wrote what she just read, she doesn't need to know that. Are you serious? No, she doesn't need to know that. Sorry, dude. This is a joke. You just read me something. You don't even know who wrote it. Mm-hmm. That's how it works. You yeah. really want to see this in court? That you just read me something, ma'am. And all due respect, that you don't know who wrote it. Probably the DHSMC. No, they don't. Are you kidding me? They didn't write that. It's 
probably the fifth district court of appeals. Here's the problem. You don't even know. That's the worst part about our law enforcement. You don't even know who wrote it. And you just ask me to listen to it. This is a joke. Hold on. Come on. Are you guys serious? Because in trial, here's the problem. You're going to sit in front of a judge and a nice jury who are nice people, and you're going to tell me that she just read me something. She didn't even who wrote it. It's a script, sir. She reads the script. No, no. Yes, a script does. doesn't matter. Oh, well. Do you realize what you just did? You read something. You don't even know who wrote it or why it's valid. Do you realize that? Officer Rodriguez, you just... I'm out. I'm out. Because tomorrow, hey, I'm handcuffed by these people. I'm out. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to be nice. Do your thing. There's nothing I can do. But here's the deal. Sir, you don't even believe it. If you do, you, you've broken every constitutional law on this earth. She doesn't even know who she just read <laughs> a document from. Dude, do you realize that? She does not realize who she read that from. Tomorrow, hi, tomorrow, I'm going to be on CNN with her. This, I can't be mean. I, I, she's the boss. She might kill me later, but I can't do nothing. Here's the deal. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my thing. I got hit by a car, and she arrested me. Probably she's friends with the person. I don't know. Whatever. But tomorrow is my day. Promise you. Promise you, Ms. Barbara. It's my day. Can I bring yourself into my instructions? I'm not blowing. Not after that. I'm not blowing. Are you not refusing? Not. Read the Bible again, please. I'm not refusing. After she just read some shedding who wrote it, I'm not both. Mr. Rodriguez, uh, Mr. Rodriguez, do not even give me the instructions. I want you to take a breath, make a nice tight seal halfway down the mouthpiece, and blow one I long want you, I want you breath about until I say to stop. Sir, I want you to think about it. Okay, so you, uh, I'll I'll let give you every you opportunity to blow, sir. If you're not going to refuse, okay, I'm going to give you every opportunity to blow. This woman right here doesn't know who wrote, wrote that. I'm going to give you every opportunity to blow, provide a breath sample, sir. You're a wonderful person. Honestly, you're a wonderful person. No. No, I, I mean, in my heart. Okay. I like you, but I, I cannot blow because she doesn't even know who wrote that. And she doesn't need to know who blows with her. What? She doesn't need to know who wrote it. You actually it. mean that? Yes. Why are you shaking? Because I'm old, sir. I'm 63 years old. Well, I'm just telling you I'm not shaking. I'm just chilling. And she doesn't know who wrote that statement. She arrested me unpronounced. I'm joking. Mr. Ingsoll. I love you. Year. It's not going to be, I promise. Hmm. I promise you it's not going to be. Mr. Ingersoll. I'm trying to give you every opportunity to provide a breath sample. What? If you fail to provide a breath sample, she can constitute that as a refusal. Hey, you she can do it. She's already made the most mistakes in her life. She can do whatever she wants. Okay. I, I'm sober. Look at me. You're shaking. I'm not. I'm just chilling. I'm shaking because I'm old, sir. No, I'm saying you're shaking. I'm happy. I actually like you. Hmm? Honestly, you're a great guy. You treat me with total respect. But for her not to know who wrote that it's crazy. And tomorrow we'll figure it out. Hmm. How many times? You made it wrong. You'll figure it out tomorrow. You shouldn't arrest me because I was not drinking. And listen to me. Dude, what are you doing? Relax. I'm trying to give you every opportunity to provide a breath sample, sir. 
I'm actually going to take that away from you, please. Um, and I'm not going to do that, sir. I'm trying to give you every opportunity to provide a breath sample. If you fail to do that, the officer can constitute that as a refusal to provide a breath sample. I don't care, but please keep that away from me. Please. That's not going to happen. I don't have anything wrong with You can't provide a breath sample unless this is close to you, sir. Are you refusing? Of course I am. Look. Are you going to refuse? Absolutely. Can you read the bottom again? Mm -hmm. I read it out loud, please. You still refuse to submit to this test knowing your driving privilege will be suspended for a at least one year? Yes, sir. Never read the rest. Okay. Yeah. So you are refusing, sir? I'm sorry. Okay. After she let me know who wrote that, and you were shaking. Oh, uh, no, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay. Oh, let's, 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 let's see you guys in the morning. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll see you guys in the morning. In that car. It's locked up. That's the way I got it. Are you still refusing to provide a breath sample? 100%. Okay. Time of refusal. Take me to jail. Got me in both directions. I've never been. I've been in Morgan. I did have taxes, but built it. Take me. I might even know if the medical gentleman I love here. Something fucked wrong. It depends on the world.
And uh, a refusal listed on the form 38 is 2,100 hours. 2,100 hours.